everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. This is my、uh, four granny squares, what, which I'm working on. And these are all stash leftover yarn. And I'm making eight granny squares with multiple designs. And I'm going to make a balaclava, and, which is my subscriber made it from the Lib Hoffman's Contemporary Crochet. Book. This is 35 super easy garments and accessories crochet、uh, tutorial book. And、uh, I found one balaclava in this book, and that is made from the granny squares. And、uh, my subscriber used a、uh, flowery, flower granny motifs like these and made it very elegant and pretty. And I was very impressed. And、uh, so, actually, I I didn't know how to use balaclava because I, I didn't, or they, it didn't talk to me so much, you know, it doesn't,、uh, it wasn't touched my heart. But when I saw her balaclava, that was very impressive. And I, I wanted to imitate that, imitate that balaclava in my style. And so I, Read through this book and check the, the details, and I'm starting. And、uh, in the book, they recommend crochet hook size 4. millimeter and they use the worsted weight yarn, but actually, I'm using a、uh, I think DK or sport weight yarn, so that is our category, uh, the thinner category than the worsted weight yarn, and so. I might,、uh, it might be smaller than the expected because I need to make、uh, 15 centimeters in fifth round and I made one, two, three, four rounds now and I still have only approximately 10 centimeters or four inches. That is,、uh, I need five and a half. Have five and a quarter. Oh, let me check it. So, this is the original the bunny black lover and the worsted weight yarn. And so, and also, yeah, it should be 14 centimeters. Oh, excuse me. So, I have only 10 and I need to make 14 centimeters per size, it means five and a half inches. So, I don't know how many more rounds I need, maybe two rounds or, or more. And that is also for the、uh, men's, men's size, and I'm going to make for the girls. And I don't know, I might use for myself, but, or I will give it to someone. And、uh, so, anyway, I'm mixing some grannies, and this is very Basic granny squares, but I have、uh, some tips to make this、uh, square. And also, this is looks like granny, but actually, this is not a, gla a typical granny. This is a little bit, you know, different style. And these two are the same, these two are the same. And the, this is our popcorn flower grannies. And they, I think this I made the Uh, tutorial video once, but I'm go、uh, I changed you know a little bit, so I'm going to show you、uh, how to do it in different w a y And this is a flower granny squares, and that is、uh, also introduced as a Copenhagen granny squares. Granny square, and this is very super easy but you know very effective design. And these two are the same. so Uh, I'm going to show you how to crochet these four motifs and how to attach the motifs to make up a balaclava. This is the, the tutorial video. So, and let's grab there some leftover yarn like this. Swish. Okay, let me, let me show you some. So, this is my leftover yarn、uh, for ears or. Some are just bought in this season, and some are very old, you know, in many years in my room. 
And this is totally new, but this is, you know, gl uh, gradation yarn. So it is a, a little bit effective, as you can see, like this. So it's very effective. So it's uh, it will work, you know, very good to some solid colors. And so I would like to use this kind of granny or, uh, you know, gradation yarn. Also, I have some more gradation yarn. So these gradation yarns are nice to use. Uh, also, it is very good short pitch gradation yarn to give some effect on the small grannies. So I'm going to use, I don't know I'm going to use this or not, but uh, I'm going to keep this one in, in my box because this is mohair and it is a little bit hard to see the stitches when I showing this tutorial as a stitch video so I have to use up on, in somehow and this is very nice op opportunity to use it and this blue is I made two socks and some left and I'm going I would like to use uh, it as our Ooh, what's that oh it, this is my cat's nail why in somehow okay and then Okay, so uh, I would like to use it as a base color because blue is not nice to everyone. And this is also left over from the last project. This one as well. And some pastel colors. I have some more white, so I can use up white as well or beige as well. So I'm still thinking which color is the best. Pink is also good. So uh, maybe this one. Okay, let me check it. All right, so, okay, let's start. And also this book is really, really good book for, you know, love to crochet in an easy way and easy projects. So I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box. And so you can check the contents and if you, love it you can buy it okay all right so anyway uh i'm going to make this starting from the uh -oh, ordinary granny square and always i would like to pick up the uh, first color uh, which is never used so i'm going to use this one from the first round okay so i'm going to use size four 0 0.00 millimeter hook and making a slip knot. Then after making a slip knot, make one, two, three, four chains, and back to the first chain and insert a picture, you know, belly front loop, and make a link. Okay, so I could make a link and then starting from the three chains, count as a double, and yarn over into the link here and make a double crochet yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops this is a double crochet and after making one two three doubles make a uh, one chain usually i love to make two chains but i'm going to make only one chain and make three doubles And one chain and when you crocheting please lap the yarn end as well and three doubles again and chain one one two three doubles and chain one after making chain one this is the first three chains and this is the first double crochet so insert into the first double crochet and slip stitch to join so that you can make very nice and smooth joining and chain one and fasten off the yarn
Okay, after that, glove the yarn needle and whip the yarn end first. So this yarn end came across around. So make a few more stitches, pulling, you know, sewing through, and make a U turn. Pick a one loop. Or pick the inside loop and make a U turn. Okay, then fasten off. And for the top, we also weave ends. Okay, from the long side, this is a three chains. Behind that, there is a, you know, slip stitch loop. So, you know, insert it. And then pick the back bumps. And travel a few stitches to the clockwise. And also pick the loop inside and make a U turn. All right. So now it's done. So this is looks like a you know circle, not square, but it's okay. This is the point. Okay, grab the next color. All right, next I'm using the different colors. So I'm going to pick the white color and into the any chain one space here and make a twist and pull through and chain one, chain two, chain three, count as a double and make two more doubles and make three doubles. So granny squares always three doubles. All right. After three doubles, move it to the next chain one space and three doubles again. And chain one and back to the same space make three more doubles. And I'm a uh, quite, you know, loose crocheter, so loose stitch. Uh, so if you want to make, uh, you know, if you feel a little bit tight, please, you know, size up the hook. Use the larger hook, like 4.5 or 5.0 to keep the same gaze as mine or the hook. So you can use any yarn, you, know, you can use alarm weight or DK weight or sport weight. But when you, uh, it is not good to mix the size. So I'm using uh, almost the same size. I think that is sport weight. And back to the first space and make three more doubles. Oops. And chain one and skip three chains and into the first double make a slip stitch. Okay. And fasten off the yarn. Pull it tight. And just wave the yarn end. So pick the previous round loop and pulling through 
and pick the previous round loop and make a U-turn and coming back in the middle. Okay, next this one. So pick the two loops behind the chain and then pick the vertical loop of the three, three doubles here. Oops. Three doubles here and making U turn first. Okay, and make the shape it. And coming back to the root, the space and pick the one loop as like before and pull through all stitches and pick the one loop and coming back in the middle. Okay, and fast enough. All right. So this is the second round. Oh, looks like a square, roundy. That is okay. Okay, next one, I'm going to use the yellow. So in any chain one space, make a twist and three chains and three doubles into the next chain next next space between three doubles so make three doubles so we are going to make three doubles per side okay into the next space chain one Coming back to the same space, make three doubles into the next space, three doubles, into the next space, three doubles and chain one back to the same space three doubles okay so please make one two three doubles per side and each corner make two three doubles and make chain one space after making three three doubles make chain one and into the first double crochet, not these three chains, and pull through and chain one. Okay, move to the one, two, three, four round in any chain one space. And make three doubles and move it to the next space make three doubles and next space three doubles and next space make three doubles okay then chain two and back to the same space make three doubles and 
into the next space, make three doubles. And mix. Three doubles. And the next corner, three doubles. Chain one, two. And back to the same space, make three doubles. So from round four, make two chains at any corners. And round four means one, two, three, four, three doubles in per side. Okay, finish first motif and move to the next motif. So this is the next motif and this is the first original uh, classic Granny square. Look at this, a little bit different. So let's do it together. Okay, let's start. Starting from the slip knot and make one, two, three, four chains. And back to the first chain and make a slip stitch to make a link. And one, two, three chains count as a double. And into the link, make 16 doubles including this chain 3 and 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, before joining, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. And after making 16 doubles, skip first three chains into the first double crochet, join and make a chain. Okay, let me place here. Okay, move it to the second round and into any space between doubles. So to the, into any space, not the stitch. Make a twist and one, two, three chains count as a double and one, two more doubles and make three doubles. Skip one, two, three, four, and make a chain. And skip one, two, three, four, and into the next space between doubles, make three doubles and chain one. And back to the same space, make three more doubles. And chain one. Skip one, two, three, four doubles into the next space. One, two, three doubles, and chain one. Back to the same space. One, two, three doubles chain one and skip one two three four into the next space three doubles and chain one and back to the space three 
three doubles and chain one and into the first space make three more doubles and chain one and join Okay, third round into the any chain one space and make the uh, twist and three chains and two more doubles and three doubles. Okay, next there are one, two, three, four doubles and split the two and two. And in between two doubles and two doubles two rounds before and make three doubles in that space so skip the purple round into the pink round and make three doubles and into the purple corner and make three doubles And chain one back to the same space make three doubles okay once again next space in the purple and in the previous round in pink round there are one two three four doubles and split two doubles and one two doubles and two doubles and into the between two doubles and two doubles make three doubles like this and into the corner space Make three doubles and chain one and back to the same space. Make three more doubles. And in the same space. Make three doubles so that like a cross like a cross so you can use the same color of the first round so that it you know it will show or uh, consecutively uh, connecting and it it's like a you know how to say it in English it's like a, an, a com melted or I don't know how to say it, but anyway it matched very well and three doubles and chain one so the third round is still chain one and from the fourth round make two chains and the last so this square is a little bit tricky but it is not so difficult i think you can do it it's very easy isn't it okay and chain one and join and finish this round all right like this so it's like a flower 
And for the fourth round is the same. Make two space, two chain spaces. And just a granny square. So one, two, three chains and double into the next space. Three doubles into the next space. Excuse me. Three doubles into the corner. Three doubles, one, two chains, and back to the same corner and make three doubles. So one, two, three, four doubles per side. Okay, finish this motif and move to the next motif. The next motif is a very easy pattern, which is called Copenhagen Granny Square. So uh, you can check the previous video that is very slowly and detailed video. And I'm going to make this motif quite first. So if you can't catch up, please set the function button to slow down or, you know, pinch out or pinch out to zoom in. Okay. All right. So anyway, let's get started. Make a slip knot and make one, two, three, four chains and make a link and one, two, three chains count as a double and make 12 double crochet including these three chains. So now three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Join into the first double crochet. Okay, next. In between these doubles, and make three chains and make two doubles then move it to the next space two doubles move it to the next space two doubles move it to the next space two doubles and repeat to the end. So into every between doubles, make two doubles. Okay, finish second round. So every space, make two doubles. Okay, and the third round also into the in between two doubles. And three chains. And now make three doubles. And into the next space of two doubles, make three doubles. Into the next space, three doubles. Into the next space, make three doubles. 
Okay, let's crochet first round and uh, in between slit doubles. Pull through, chain three, and three doubles, and move to the next space, make three doubles, and move to the next space, three doubles. And move to the next space three doubles and now we can make four three doubles per side one two three four and make two chains and back to the same space and make three doubles again and move to the next space three doubles And move to the next space, three doubles. And into the next space. So this is the one, two, three, four. This is the corner. And three doubles, chain two. And three doubles. Okay, repeat like this. Okay, finish. So move it to the fourth motif. Okay, next is popcorn flower motif glannies, and this is also have a tutorial video that is you know my third glannies, and it's not the centered. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and I just modified uh, the starting. So first, oh. Uh, Make a slip knot as usual and make one, two, three, four chains and make a slip knot and make a link and chain one. And into the link, I'm going to make 16 half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need sixteen, so six more. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, before joining, let me count. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. And join into the first half double crochet. All right. Okay, next let's make popcorn stitches. And make a slip knot. And one, two, three, four chains count as a treble crochet and lap over two times. So three loops on the hook and back to the same stitch, make a treble crochet, yarn over post so two loops, two loops, two loops, three times, lapping over two times, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over post so two loops, two loops, two loops. This is the treble crochet and now I have three and I need five trebles 
and after that pull up a loop and back to the one to three fourth chain and insert the hook into the stitch and pick the loop and pull through to the stitch this is a popcorn stitch and then make one two stitches and skip next stitch into the next stitch make five trebles two oops three four five and into the first treble and pick the loop and pull through and chain two and skip next stitch and so this is the third one and I have four now and make the fourth one and pull up a loop and into the stitch and pull through and chain two skip two three four five and chain two okay so now i have one two three four popcorns and make eight popcorns in the last after making two chains back to the first popcorn and this is a joining stitch can you see that so insert into it okay and fasten off so now from the long side the loop is smaller than the flower so flower will pop out okay okay next is the third round and into any chain two spaces and starting with three chains so one two three make two more double and I made one two rounds so this is the third round so into the next chain to space make three doubles again and into the next space make three doubles chain one and back to the same space make three doubles So now I made one, two, three, and make one, two, and three. And chain one. And back to the same space. Three doubles. Okay, so move it to the fourth round in any chain one space. And attach yarn and one, 
two three and make three more double uh, two more doubles and make three doubles into the next space three doubles into next space three doubles and three doubles so now one two three four doubles and chain two and three doubles Okay, so I need eight uh, granny motifs and I picked eight here. And these folds are for the other project. I'm going to make a cowl or something or hand warmer or something. And from now, I need to make it up to uh, 14 centimeters. So. I need 14 centimeters or five and a half inches size so I'm going to continue crochet and from now I'm going to use the same color yarn to keep up or to make all the same looks okay so I'm going to use this blue yarn to continue so starting from any corner and Make a slip stitch, make a oh, make a twist and make one, two, three chains and three doubles and into the next space make three doubles. Three doubles three doubles and here is the corner and the corner is uh, always two chains to keep the square nice and neat from now on okay and I'm going to make all motifs with a uh, blue. I did one, two, three, four, five, six rounds and meet the size of 14 centimeters or five and a half. And now I'm going to crochet join as you go. It is the most easiest, uh, the easiest way. And I made one, two, three, four, five, six, three doubles and chain one and pick the motif. And from the long side, from the long side, and yarn over post through and chain one. And back to the same space, make three doubles again. Now I'm crocheting uh, the, this is the top of the head and I'm going to crocheting the side panel and uh, the opposite side panel is going to be this one and in the center, uh, I mean the, the back of the head, I'm, I'd like to use a uh, flower motif because that is really, you know, impressive and beautiful. And also I did a uh, three doubles here and into the next motif make a slip stitch and make it tight and back to the motif and three doubles again and into the next space so it is hard to see okay 
this is the next space and slip stitch to join and back to the motif Or before you join as you go, you can block the motif so that it's going to be more, you know, accurate and beautiful. So now like this. And I did three doubles. So from the long side, excuse me, long side and bling back and pull through and make it tight stitch. And make slit doubles again and tight slip stitch it to join so slit doubles and into the next space slip stitch and back to the motif and make slit doubles And this is the last space and join and this is the slit doubles at the corner and chain one and join into the space and chain one and back to the space and make So like this it's not so tight it's quite you know soft touch but I think this that is still okay because oh I want to make it soft and elegant and next I'm going to attach this one to this one what do you think Or this one yeah, this one pretty okay so I'm going to attach like a box like this so I'm going to start from this corner Okay, after reaching the corner, chain one and into the corner, make a slip stitch and make a chain. And slip doubles into the next space, make a tight stitch and make three doubles and join and back to the motif and slip stitch uh, three doubles and tight stitch Three doubles, slip stitch, three doubles, and slip stitch. And this is the corner. So let's crochet corner stitch. So first three doubles, chain one. And this is our join. So in between motif and stitch. So in between motif, not the both corners. Don't use both corners, just in between motifs. And chain one and back to the back to the 
same space and make three doubles and into the next space make a slip stitch and three doubles into the next space make a slip stitch three doubles slip stitch three doubles slip stitch three doubles slip stitch and corner After three doubles, chain one and into the corner space, make a slip stitch and chain one and back to the same space and three doubles. And there are no uh, No motifs, so I'm going to continue and finish. So I'm going to just three doubles. Oops. And make three doubles. Oops. Okay. And three doubles. And three doubles and back to the starting space and three doubles and chain two and join So now this is the shape of balaclava and the food part. I'm going to attach all other motifs like this to you know or extend the length. So the next, I started from this motif. So I'm going to end with this motif to this side because symmetrically. Or you can use the different motif so that we can use all different motifs. Oh, this one nice isn't it this looks this looks nice okay I'm going to use this one or oh, this one yeah this one better looks better okay so I'm going to attach this one like this I'm going to start from this corner to this corner and join and this corner and join and to this corner and finish here okay okay next I'm going to attach this flower motif on the front so uh, to make sure I'm going to start from here and starting from here and join here and here and coming back and here Okay, and before starting, I'd like to show you how many grams of the motifs. 4.5, 4.7, 
slip point five and six point two and this one so one two three four after five rounds is six point two five point four six point one and I did four motifs joined together and they are thirty five point two divided into four is approximately or nine grams right so like that can you imagine how many yarns you need so uh, totally uh, we need 100 grams of yarn to make this balaclava and if you would like to add some living on the face around you need a little bit more all right So I'm how many slay now and move to the next space. So this is a sampler crocheting. If you would like to practice some uh, glannies, you can practice and make some something you can use. Okay. So now I came here to the corner. So I'm going to make one chain and join into the corner and slip stitch and one more chain. And coming back to the corner and sleeve doubles So if you try something and fail something, you can you you can keep those yarns for the stash buster, and you can use in these kind of projects. So you can make a uh, bags or garments or whatever you can make it, and those are very beautiful and pretty, isn't it? because so colorful and after making after reaching the corner chain one and slip stitch one more chain and I'm going to finish this motif okay so this is a face around here. Okay, I'm going to attach like this. This is granny square and this is a uh, you know old granny square and I use here on this project so I needed to place a part from this motif so I'm going to place this one here and I did uh, the flower motif here front and this is the motif the same as this but this is you know quite too colorful so I'm going to place it on the back and this one is just a plain granny and this is a uh, very easy to match to the, the other colors and I'm going to flip over like this and so it seems like this it doesn't affect much as you can see even this is too colorful but it is okay because this is the back part all right so bring it back and then I'm going to crochet along and join as you go. So next I'm going to attach this motif. So I'm going to start from this corner to crochet and to here and join and here. And here is a 
a little bit tricky because there is no motif on the you know opposite direction so i'm going to show you how to do it on this corner okay okay reaching the corner so i'm going to make three doubles first after making three doubles into the next space and join and into the next space and join so instead of making two chains i did one slip stitch to join the motif the next and one single slip stitch to join the motif on top So now I could make uh, I could make a nice corner. Okay. So like this. Then slip stitch. So if you can't find any stitches to uh, join a close, so you can join the next each other. So this one and this one. And after that is the same. Okay, next. This is the next corner and this is opposite motif. So in this case, chain one and pick the opposite motif, motif and join. And chain one. And coming back. The reason why I did like this because in the next motif I needed to join in somewhere. In this case, this opposite motif is the nice point because we can, you know, tuck it. So every motif is going to be tucked. This and this crossed. So that's why I do like this. And so then from the next motif, I'm going to show you how to join these four motifs to join. Okay, so after reaching the corner, chain one, and I'm going to show you how to join one, two, three, four motifs together. So, into the right above motif, so the opposite direction. And slip stitch and chain one and back to the motif and continue so that these four corners are very sturdy always corners are quite you know weak because so many oh, so many movements and stretching and moving so it here is quite a tough part so i do like this and uh, just continue to the end so that the the last motif is also the same so you can do as I showed you so I think it's really you know easy right now okay okay and the last one last one we needed to join our one two three sides so we needed to join from our, so we where we should start maybe here is the best position because this is the back and this is the front so it's better to start from the back so i'm going to start from this corner and this corner is a uh, so i place like this and with the corner so we are going to join and end or maybe we are going to start from the 
from the, from the double. So I'm going to start three doubles. This is irregular and chain one and pick the corner space and slip stitch and chain one and back to the same space and three doubles and pick the space and crochet along with join as you go So three doubles and back to the motif and slip. So like this. And here we are going to crochet and pick the, the opposite motif. And from here we are going to join from the top and left. So one chain, one chain. Okay? Okay, after coming back to the last space, join into the first double crochet and finish. Okay, finished. The total is 65.4 grams, so less than 70 grams. And this is the balaclava which I made. And I, I'm still thinking I needed to, uh, I should make a border or trim or something. But uh, let me think about it. I'd like to try it on and uh, I feel yeah here I wanted a little bit open space here but it's okay so this is like our food and it's so pretty so I would like to make a granny square you know hoodie or something oh it's so pretty isn't it so uh, in this point uh, in this project I chose the multiples of colors but I made the same color on last two loads so to make you know nice and formed look so I did like this and uh, I still have some more motifs are left so I'm thinking I I'm going to make a cow with this motif okay so if you are interested in please watch my next video I'm going to make a cow using these four motifs it is very simple because oh I I did like this so it's so simple so if you're interested in please watch my next video okay so this is my balaclava thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye